own Lance Bass is on the cover of a glossy magazine that definitely jumps out at you. Yeah. There's the latest <laughs> magazine. You look fantastic. Nice. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Congratulations. Oh, Lance, you look so handsome. Yeah. I always say, like, yeah, you should model so well, sadly, That's I hate photo shoots. I have to say, yeah. I, I'm just. They're I think awful. With, with with photo shoots, you have to have a certain ego to, yeah. to do it. And I just, I just don't have that ego to love photo shoots at all. And I think it's the changing clothes, too. I, I don't I like trying on clothes. It's, but that's uh, the best part about yeah, you, I think, because it comes across you're so sweet and, and innocent, and that's just you. Yeah. Having yeah. known you now, seeing those pictures, that's you. I'm you like, do that all the time. Don't jump, Lance! Well, don't jump! <laughs> no, what's funny about that okay. jumping shot, this is, this is my classic jumping shot that I always do, and I told the photographer, that was the very last shot right there, and I said, watch this, I'll jump, and they will use this shot because every time I do a photo shoot, I end up doing this jumping thing. They How always did you use a jump. Come up thing. with a classic jumping shot. Well, that's my boy band days. Come yeah. on, that's like classic yeah. boy band 122. It's a really nice interview too, and and in it you talk about what you would have said to your younger self if you could talk to that person. Right, yeah, mm -hmm. and I, and I would say you know come out immediately. You know, if I could go back and tell my younger self, you know, be yourself immediately because. I lost so so many friends being yeah. in the closet, and I didn't have close relationships with my family because I was in the closet. And in the the best, you know, the, you, your teenage years, that's when you are developing yourself you know, as a human being. So yeah, I would definitely have come out and just been proud of who I was. You're such a good example. Man. Yeah. That's a good thing. You're a good example. I mean, for anyone coming out or any how difficult that is, well, it's so it's scary. It's about for anybody out. though, too, just be yeah. yourself. Exactly. You're so especially when kids are. You know, little or teens, you want to be like everybody else. You yeah. just want to fit in. And you it don't doesn't want to matter. Yeah. It just does not matter. You know, live your, your live your own life. All right, nice yes. message. Live Great cover, life. baby. Yeah. Very, very nice. Bella, 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 Bella. Which means pretty girl. I'm a pretty girl, mama. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, a Pennsylvania school is coming under fire for an anti bullying workshop that some say went too far. Eighth graders at West Allegheny Middle School were given masks and asked, please move to the middle of the circle if, among other things, you have been impacted by drugs or alcohol, you have been called fat or made fun of, you or someone close to you identifies as gay, lesbian, or transgender, or you or your family has ever worried about not having enough money. And there are more than two dozen questions like that. The school says the goal of this was to really promote peer acceptance, but one parent remarked all they did was give the bullies more ammunition. So a lot of parents are up in arms about this. What do you think? It goes well, both ways. It goes well. When we heard this story this morning, we didn't have all the information, right. and now it has a little more clarity. I understand now what they were trying to do to have teach these kids to have empathy, right. meaning be and that more, everybody has something. Every, I think everyone that was, has yeah. something. We all have something. Yeah. We all have something that we don't want people to know or we're embarrassed about or something. And I think when you start t starting a dialogue with teenagers and doing this, it will help promote maybe a little awareness and empathy. It's I understand to put it. Kids in a situation like that. I was in a situation like that uh, when I was in high school. We had two different sides of the class, and it just so happened that more of the conservative type kids were on one side and the more liberal kids were on another. I was very conservative in high school. And I, but I used to talk a lot, so my teacher put me over with the more liberal kids and they yes. hated me. But we became friends because we learned to get along. But, but should parents have been notified about this? Because they're asking very personal questions, not just about themselves, but about their families. And how old are these kids? They're middle school. I don't know. That's you know, young. look, I... I'm the, the, this this workshop thing. To me, I'm like, I'll deal with it myself. I'll handle it myself. I, I I know how to do this, and I never got hit. No one hit me, but I got called everything. I would I would I would they would be like, hey, you you queer, and I'd be like, you are a very bad boy. I do impress. <laughs> <laughs> but you made me stronger than but some other. As a kid. I, I, I was never pressured to play sports. I did theater. I, 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 I would never go to that pressure. I was like, this is but what, what I do. What about the kids and who then, can't do what? show tunes and vaudeville? Well, I mean, just, if you do show tunes, you usually get bashed. I'm like, when you see, I mean, but you know. There are some kids, there's some kids that just really uh, can't That's vocalize exactly. that. Yes. Like my, my nephew, you know, he's popular in school. He plays all the sports. He just wrote this little essay for school that we just read last week that talked about his bullying of last year. All last year, he was bullied. No one really knew, he and he was the popular kid in school, yeah, and he got beat up in in, in he, school. He, he yeah, and no one really knew See, what was happening until happens. we read this last week. It happens to. It's not just the nerdy kids or the gay kids, or the fat kids. It, it does happen to everybody. Well, everybody. What, everybody what, what shifted for me though, at seventh grade, seventh through like eight, nine, I was bullied, and then from ten on, all the big sports, the quarterbacks, they were protecting me. All of a sudden, I was so protected, they all and I was to popular. Date you. That's the thing. <laughs> and I had my way with a few of them. Right or wrong, the important
thing is you need to dialogue. Yeah. You need to talk.